the Ian Saggers, the, uh, the, the chap that takes us round at Duncan Park, has been involved in game shooting how long now? Is it 30 or 40 years? It's basically 40 years. Isn't it? 40 years now, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Still gets us lost now and again, but <laughs> to that part of the day, you know. Yeah, probably yeah. padded out somehow or other. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll let it get off before we, before we yep. get lost again. We're just going to the first drive. We'll catch you up then. Is that any good? For our cameraman. <laughs> Duncan Park's classic drives, what they call ants. Uh, all, most of the birds will come down the throats. High, fast curling birds. Uh, absolute classic uh, pheasant drive and some very, very good passes on it. Uh, a, a drive that you've got to pay full attention to because they can come to your left behind you. I'll just try and shoot one or two. Ninety percent of the birds that come off here, it'll be really challenging. I uh, fast pheasants. We're uh, sprinkling a good partridge. Uh, the best, uh, the, the best uh, tools that I find for this job is on, on really high stuff. Is the uh, this classic 3800 or MK 38 Miracle, 32 inch, full and three quarters or full and full. The best the job just as well. It was a great five because the, the wood's a bit heavier. The setup for high bird shooting, you know, for using a decent cartridge, they'll take the uh, the recoil a lot better. Saves on the shoulder, and I'll typically I'll be I'm using 41 grams or 42 grams of fours and threes today, of five a wad. Look at that ember. Mm -hmm. shot. No, well shot. That's the end of the first drive, uh, drive as I say, called Antioffs, uh, one of uh, Duncan's uh, better drives. It's a lovely drive. Um, good day, bring it on. We've shot some nice pheasants and some nice partridge. As Dave kindly said, come here, Dave. As da Dave, who was a regular picker up here, uh, as Dave kindly said, nicely followed up, David. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> it's a pleasure, David. Well shot. <laughs> what do you think of the quality of the birds shot? Today, they're very good high curling birds, as you were saying. You know, you don't know where they're coming from, so well, you've got I, to be aware mean, all the time. You've got to be on, on your toes all the time, haven't you? You definitely yeah. have to, yeah. And how would you consider this team here today? A good team, aren't they, really? From what I've seen so far, they look very good, yes, and I know one or two of the guns personally, and I know they can shoot, yes. Yeah. Very good. Lovely. You can. Okay, do. then. Thank you. Well done, boys. Well done, Ian. Yeah. He's one of the best game shots I've ever seen as well. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. Now and again, known for pinching my birds. Yeah. yeah. I can't get enough of them. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of guns are you using today? Miracle and uh, a Ferrazzi. Yeah. 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 You just try and, and alternatively just. Yeah, see, I'll go with Ferrazzi. Yeah. Yeah. Ferrazzi will be a new gun that you're yeah. trying to. Get in. You know, yeah. yeah. What do, what do you think the best sort of uh, gun for shooting hard birds? Probably you'll concur with me that Miracle's 32 inch, something like that. Very re reliable. Yeah. yeah. Very reliable. Good solid yeah. gun. Good pointable gun. Yeah. 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 Lovely. The second drive at Duncan Park is a drive known as Rico's. There's a typical gully drive again. Most of the birds will be driven down the throat of the gun uh, as it uh, as it gets established. The birds then will cross. You see that squirrel there? Yeah, unfortunately, we can't shoot squirrels today. As it progresses, the, the birds will gradually come face the, uh, the shooter and come across him. Uh, but another really beautiful eye drive, and it's we've just waited for the fog to clear. It looks good up there now. Uh, the, the sunshine is out. It's a blue sky, so we should be able to see some nice, some nice birds. A lot of it will be eye, what I call eye bird snap shooting. You've got to really be on your toes because there isn't a lot of gap in, this, in these gills. The, it's really snap shooting, but on a, on a far higher scale than what most people are used to. It's not a woodland um, pathway that we're shooting, it's a deep gully. And we're at the top part, fortunately we'll, we'll see a lot of crossing birds first. Um, it goes deeper and deeper, number one, two and three pegs will be real in the, uh, the middle of it as far as uh, the height and the depth is concerned. Uh, but we should see some really good birds here as it de develops. It should be what's it like to shoot alongside the likes of Des the famous gun gunsmith Des Mills. Des originates from the likes of Purdy. Uh, he's, he's the only surviving gunsmith of Churchill's. He's like a world to us. The community is like a World War One hero. He's the last of the old outs. That's how we look at him. Uh, but he's, he's been with me now. For the last 15 years, haven't you, Des? Oh, uh, he's in the last 15 that, years. Does. 10 years properly, you know, <laughs> as we've got into these uh, these estates. Uh, I have to keep him on his toes now and again. He's getting a bit old now, but he's, uh, it's like dancing on ice sometimes with him. Uh, it's, me, but it's me that's doing the dance and him trying to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> and we've based our, uh, our cartridges now on a 40 gram fibre 4 and 3. Early doors on passes will shoot a, a 40 gram fibre 5, but most people will say, What are you using even a 40 gram on a passes? But I'm not talking ordinary passes, I'm talking uh, the likes of what uh, what Water Priory can put on on the, on the drives like Silverindales. These passes are 70 80 yards up, you know, so you do need a nice pattern, and a 5 is still capable of. Uh, uh, fetching a good passage down at uh, whatever any height. Nice 
The only problem there, second shot. Yeah, you could give a knack Nice cock bird, Ian. Yeah, I would have chewed it, but it's not my time. No, you can't work. get second shots at him, can when you? When I were rushed, I would miss him. Yeah. And I'd kill some of the miss of all. Yeah. You have some good ones? I have some nice ones, I did. Good. Yeah, I'm trying to do I've gone in there as office manager. Oh, you're the right man for the hey. job. Hey! I only want two days a week there. I mean, there's... Oh, you're right, Joe. I've only had one or two in. No, it's right. Really good. Yeah, that's Yeah, yeah. Just right about yeah. 15. Pellet syndrome. Just <laughs> like that. Yeah. He's a greedy bastard, the winner. He's a greedy bastard. Just like Andrew Hill's, uh, Desmond Mills, my loader, has been loading for me over 10 years now. Uh, one particular thing I'd like to uh, uh, say about Desmond is uh, not only is he 80 years old, he's one of the best loaders in the country, but also. He was one of the best gunsmiths in the country. Well, now kind, now retired, but when you think about the history that you've got behind you, Des, some of the, the, the people that you've made guns for, uh, I would think uh, they'll be known as uh, superstars in the day. I would have thought so, yes, yeah. yes, I would have thought so. Uh, what, can you tell me what sort of people that you've made guns for? You've actually took them on the most to, to, uh, uh, to practice with these guns, haven't you? you know, to, Come on. Yeah, one of the uh, on, most notable people was the director of Coca-Cola. Ah, we, we've got a sample of that today. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> he enough, he yeah. came home with it, came over and shot grouse. Uh, now, what, what sort of year are we talking, Des? Oh, we're talking what, 20, 20 odd years ago, over 20 is, is years Is this when you were working for Purdy or? Uh, no, this is when I left Purdy's. Left Purdy's and was sort of self-employed. Uh, you learnt your craft at Purdy's. Purdy's, and uh, then I moved from Purdy's. Little candle lit desk, no doubt. Little candle lit bench. Yes, well, everything was by hand. Yeah. Everything was from a forging. Yeah. Uh, what were actually your your thought in the in the actual gun making process? Were, were you a stockman or uh, action? Action. Yeah. Action, yeah. Um, when I was there, I got the freedom of the city of London for gun making. Well, you deserved it. Well, yeah. thank you very much. And then uh, from, from Purdy's you went to Churchill's? I went to Churchill's when old man Churchill was alive. Yeah. And uh, I was in charge of gun making for Robert Churchill, yeah. working on Churchill shooting ground in Crayford in Kent. When we go, if, if you remember the back to the, the Whitfield days, and when we first started with, with, the extreme, with the extreme birds, I think it set up a bit of a buzz when we had the first magazine uh, Right up, uh, extreme birds at Whitfield. Yeah. It sort of got everybody buzzing, you know, shouldn't be shooting these birds, they're out of range. But we've proved that they're not out of range because we get, we get tackled up to do the job. But there's still articles you, being written gone now. Through, but you've gone, through, you've gone through that era where it was 26 inch, 28 inch battle, That's side right. by side. Sixes and seven shots. Sixes and seven shots. 28, 28 grams of ELA impacts. You still see them today, but they, these people they ain't going to get the same no they're way. not going to shoot the same birds as what these lads are capable of shooting i mean on a day like today every one of these lads can shoot they've all got vast experience in shooting high birds 
And the Will Pricker Field, but so were the Lowbird Brigade. But shooting... They'll prick, they'll prick a few as well, that's no. par for the shooting day, but most of, it, most of them are, are you mainly killed because they're using the right stuff. But shooting has changed drastically, drastically over, yeah. over the last 30, 40 years, changed drastically. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much, Des, for... Uh, My pleasure, Dave. For all these years It's of been an experience I shall never <laughs> ever forget, believe you and me. He's have a great you, fella. Have you seen some good bird shot while he's been with me? <laughs> we always come away from every shoot with one memorial bird that we always, always talk can recollect yeah. Yeah. and think about it wherever we go. Yeah. 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 I think they'd be like gas going, you know, I mean it's a range of them. I've never seen them. Oh, well, 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 This is uh, this is sheep pens, the third drive at uh, Duncan Park. This is one of their most famous drives for high birds, and uh, as you'll see, uh, you will see some of the most stunning birds. Killable, but you've got to know where to put the gun on this. Uh, they've got some spectacular crossing birds. They'll they'll come from the left hand side. They'll be well above the trees, maybe 70, 80 yards back. Uh, as again, if you, you read the, the, the birch properly, you've got the proper shot, proper chokes and the proper uh, the uh, proper gun, and you can put it in the right place, you will kill them. And I'm sure I'll be able to show you that they can be killed. So, just, the drive's just about started now. Mm -hmm. It's lovely at top here, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, mate. Left. down. It's always been sort of myth that Henry Ford shot it on this particular peg and nobody else were allowed to shoot it. In the right. um, but he was, uh, the next year he came back 
and uh, restaurants. Hello, Ian. How are you? Nice to see you. And I thought the number of people you must meet in a year. You could remember. Who's well, the more notable character than you can remember, Ian, besides me? Everybody pales into his significance. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Prince Radzibel was there. Uh, he was there. But uh, we had Princess Anne. Mm. Um, oh, really, I think she was picking up. She was picking up. Uh, Mark, Mark Phillips. Mark Phillips was shooting. shooting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is Neil. Oh, that's, yes. oh, yeah. This is Jive. Oh, I forget what they call this one. What the hell? We've shot it in loads of down, haven't we? We have. Hey, we have. What they call this Jive, uh, Ian? Skillbeck's Bank. Skillbeck? Skillbeck. 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 Is that what it says? Yeah. Uh, it's fourth drive at Duncan Park, drive court, Skillbeck. Uh, another high banking drive. Uh, we've got a big bunch of fir trees in front of us. But it doesn't, you can't really see, because of the fir trees are directly in front of you, you can't really see the height for the banking at the back. But it does, it does go on to a considerable height. And you will see some some more stunning Duncan Pipe birds and luckily uh, we should be in the middle of it again And again, and again. Uh, this is the final, the fifth and final drive at uh, Duncan Park. This drive is called Foothead and it's a really steep banking. It's hard to describe how steep it is. There's it? a lot of trees in front, but it goes on for at least two or three hundred metres further up there. Uh, the birds will be, uh, they'll be coming straight down here, I would imagine, from number one peg. The flushing point is around about number three peg. Uh, but the birds are all the way down the line. Cook crossing birds, very, very high crossing birds, and very high birds coming straight across to the guns. So, which is one of their best tries. We don't show up Pigeon Charlie. <laughs> Dave and then of course just see him coming through trees here. Messed around with some material, and that's the best. Well, it stripped that down. 
I don't know why he stripped he stripped that. The, he stripped that down. Yeah, it didn't You've got a spring on. And that's you what... Have to, you have to take the side lock off to have a look. <coughs> Work of art, didn't it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.